fries casserole with lovely. Um, but uh, how, how, what did the kids do? I, you know, I missed them. Yeah, they were actually great today. They, they made you something they really wanted to show it to you, and it's really too bad you weren't home to see it. Hey, is that it over there? Yeah, that's it. So I can drive the robot. I'm the one exploring the space. I'm in control. This robot, um, I can pan, I can zoom. I can raise my my point, my perspective. I can zoom in to get a better a better look at things. I can actually proactively communicate. So hey, hey Nance, are the are the, um, are the kids asleep? Yeah, I actually just put them down. I think it would be great if you went in to read them a story. Hey, what a good idea. This robot, I can go to telephoto mode, where there's a very high resolution uh, camera spot, and actually drive this robot into their room, and if they put out a book, I can read the book for them, to them. So, really, this is an interesting demo here. I've demoed my first robot, never showing you the robot itself, which probably shows you something, but I wanted to focus on my experience with the robot. I'm now going to come over and we can reveal, show Nancy, she's behind this curtain over here, and I'll pick up the robot and spend some time showing you what the ro how the robot works and what the robot actually, uh, actually looks like. So, here it is. This is Connector. Get my... Uh, This robot comes out of the box, ready to go. Very easy installation. Privacy, obviously, was something we spent a lot of time making sure we got right. There's encrypted password protection. There is, you, you uh, have to have certain permissions to be able to do what I just did. And the communication is therefore something you can feel very good about. We spent a lot of time trying to work on the camera because driving a camera remotely can be an extremely challenging task. This robot has a dual camera. There are actually two different imagers inside this head. One, which is a very, very wide angle, 77 degree wide angle camera for driving. So when you're moving along, you can actually see the robot in the field of view. So you, and then you can just move this thing around. And then as I move to higher levels of zoom, and it has a 16 time zoom, the field of view narrows down to the point where I can read children books, text uh, with, with ease. It's got a little uh, light here in case I want to turn it on in a building where the lights are off so I can see at night. And we also have a personality light, so from my user interface I can have a red light if I'm angry or a blue light if I'm happy and convey some emotional content to give the uh, the person with the robot an idea about what's going on in my mind. It's a rechargeable battery. It uses the same docking station technology that you saw me demonstrate earlier. So if this robot was in a, a vacation home and there was no one around at all and I just wanted to see why the alarm went off, I'd be able to back off the dock, go around, explore the situation, come back, dock again, and log off and the robot would be ready for the next time. So this is a robot that's very different. This is a robot that has so many different applications. Only really the imagination limits how this new communication system is going to be delivered and used in, in iRobot homes. Here are some examples that we came up with as far as, far as how one might uh, use the connector. You can see this is the idea. Maybe when you're away, you can connect with your kids by reading them a story. You also maybe can put the robot on your on the tabletop. One of the advantages of having a robot this size, it has cliff sensors that won't fall off the table. The imager actually rotates all the way around so you can do exactly what's being shown in this image. And as a tabletop mode, so you can play a game. Another application, there's many, we talked about pet owners earlier about cleaning up after the pets, but what about playing with your pets when you're on travel? Or maybe even during lunch hour? 
if I'm away for a week and missing my kids, I could play a game, engage in fantasy play of some sort. But actually, connector seems like it actually belongs in this particular picture. Play with my, my son there. <laughs> or we talked about trying to bring remote grandparents uh, into the family on a more frequent basis. So I could invite them to log in to the connector and maybe share a new puppy uh, image with grandma. So I see some smiles, some, hmm, some thoughts. Exactly right. Exactly right. This is a very new type of communication. This allows you to call a place as opposed to a person and then go out into that place and communicate with whatever is there. So what are we doing? Well, this robot is going to be, when it's fully rolled out next year, will have a price point of $499, very affordable. Before that, we're doing an interesting thing. We have a pilot program, which is being announced and launched today. Basically, we have a very few number of these robots that we're going to put in the hands of people. And here's the deal. If you're selected to be in the pilot program because you went to www.irobot.com and signed up to be part of our pilot program, we're going to sell you the robot for $199. In return, we're going to ask, what you think? How did you use this? What can we add to the software to make this robot work better for you? And in that way, we're going to be able to rapidly iterate and optimize this robot to meet the communication needs of the world. And additionally, as a special offer for coming in and seeing me and, and um, I don't know, lasting this whole time through all of my demos, we're going to be giving away five of these connector robots free. So what you need to do is at the back, as you leave today, fill out your, there's a form, fill it out, put it in a box, and that will get you into a special drawing to get one of these connector robots free. But of course, we're going to be asking you the same sorts of questions as to what you like and what you don't like about the robot. So that is connector. So 